What's up? Welcome to the live stream. What's it? March? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is crazy. This we're we're doing this a little up. old school today, folks. Oh doing yeah, this old school. Literally uh, had a bit of a, phoning it in. Yeah, uh, had a bit of a family emergency, but I am here. Joe's in the dungeon, of course. Yes, I'm always in the dungeon. I'm locked in here for eternity <laughs> with me and my bad movies. <laughs> I am in a undisclosed location that, uh, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know where it's going with that, but I got some wine, Joe. What do you, what do you got oh, over there, my friend? look at you with your friend? fucking Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> For white wine. For your wine. I got some, I got some, <laughs> my neighbor is a uh, a distributor for uh, Saucony Creek, so he came over with this nice little uh, four pack, six pack of uh, beers, and I'm drinking it now, and what do I got cooking? Unicorns waiting for happy hour. It's very good. I haven't had an IPA in a while. It's it's juicy and hazy and refreshing. Ah, uh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, you're so delicious. Uh, Pizza the Hut, everybody. You're delicious. Uh, that that's a movie I need to revisit. A classic, <laughs> honestly. Spaceballs. Uh, I see a lot of people in the chat, Joe. There is a ton of people. First of all, I would we would like on behalf of Sean and myself, we'd like to say thank you for coming and hanging out with us instead of watching the fuss the fucking Oscars. <laughs> Who I totally forgot about the I, Oscars. I totally forgot it was a thing tonight. And I'm th people are like, oh my god, I can't wait for this one whatever to win. I'm like, who fucking gives a shit? Not that I'm gonna sit here and be like, oh well, we're better than the Oscars, but like, I, I just don't care because nobody's opinions matter except for the Academy or whatever, whoever the oh, fuck, well, right? You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, right, cool. I kind anyway. of was like. Never, never a big Oscars watchers. I mean, I see, I see a few people in the chat mentioning it. Uh, some people don't give a shit either, honestly. Some, <laughs> some people seem like they could go either way. Don't, but, okay, uh, don't. It's okay if you do like them. It's fine. It's fine. We're not like berating you or anything. It's just you know. Yeah. I, I know friend of the show. I mean, he hasn't been on in a couple of years now. But Matt Curione from Monsters Never Die. I know he's a huge Oscars guy. So we know you're out there. That's that's how I saw it. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> Curione was posted something because like all week I think, yeah, that's actually right. Now that I'm thinking about it. Everybody's like, oh, Oscar winner, Oscar winner. I'm like, great, yeah, that's a good movie, sure. Um, but have you seen Pet Shop? That's what I want to know. I have not. What, what is Pet Shop, Joe? What is that? Is that a joke? Am I missing it's, something there? It's a shitty. It's a shitty Moonbeam movie. That's. Oh, I was just being a dick. Uh, John Campapiano is probably sweating. He's happy you mentioned it. I don't know if he's in the chat or not, but I think he's a big fan of those. Oh yeah, I'd rather watch Step Monster than. Of course, I'd rather watch Step Monster than the Oscars. Anyway. But uh, but yeah, so Jesus. Uh, anyway, with that out of the way, there are so like Sean just said, there are so many people in the chat. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um. Ah, uh, you keep blowing us away. There's a ton of first time people in here. For who do we got? We got Johnny, uh, Johnny Blue is in here. We got Ty the Blockbuster guy, Billy Mount, uh, Victor the Third. Not the first or the oh, second, yeah, Victor, but it was his, uh... it was his birthday yesterday. Happy thirty, you dirty thirty. Happy birthday, uh, Victor. Night Shadow. Uh, who else is in here? Jay, what's Bill, going on? Bill eighty nine. Ken Smith. I see Paranorman in there. What's going Paranorman. on? Paranorman. Sincere J. That's a first time chat uh, from, from that viewer. What's up? Simmer what's Mike. What's going on? Yeah, Simmer Mike. Simmer down. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Stick Stigley? He says, Simmer down. Yeah, yeah. What's you going on, what Bill? We got a few bills in here. If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, it was a popsicle stick uh, on Nickelodeon that used to do. Um, what didn't he even do like. Wasn't he part of like Kids Choice Awards or some shit? Yes, I th I want to say he was. It was almost like uh, he was like the guy in between the shows, and it would be like you know during the day, uh, you know the the, the the Nick tunes, the Nick shows, if you will. Especially in the summer, I know he was like they blew him out big time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you. This, yes, this is my grandpa sweater. The the Loch Ness monster is on it. If you can see it. I don't know if you could see mine. I know I got the microphone in front of me here. I, I just because we're talking about T-shirts or shirts, I, I wore Usopp from One Piece because there was there a go. huge One Piece chapter today. And there's a <laughs> if you know, you know, we'll put it that way. And tomorrow, uh, for all those One Piece fans out there, there's a big announcement for the new movie. So check that out if you even care. But uh, that that's where I'm coming from, Joe. <laughs> there you go. Um, what's up, foolish warrior? Yeah, foolish warrior. What's going on? I saw Brendan uh, in there. How you doing, man? 
Oh, is Brendan in there? Oh, there he is. Yeah. How you doing, man? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Somebody, some, uh, Ty said, uh, glad to see you're alive, Sean, after Jessica took a bazooka to you. I guess that's the Godfather <laughs> episode. You were yes, assassinated. Yes, you were taken out. From Hack the Movies, yeah. Uh, some behind the scenes. Tony says, okay, just, Sean, just just sit there. Don't worry about it. And then I watch <laughs> the episode, and I'm like, all right. Jessica, you, you blew me the fuck up. Happy birthday, by the way. I doubt you're watching, but uh, it's also your birthday. It's uh, another friend of the show's birthday, Mr. Justin Silverman. Oh, yes. Happy, happy birthday to all you, around. too. Dang, that's it's a hell of, of a day. Yeah. Uh, I think I was spared in that Godfather episode. I'm one of the, I'm one of the family. Oh, yeah, you absolutely are one of the family, Joe. <laughs> if, they had a fourth, if they had a fourth chair, you would have been sitting in it. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Sorry, just going down the just going down the comments before before we get into this. Oh, yeah, Joe. Hello to everybody. That's what this is about. Yeah. Ty mentions in there, you're, you're making an appearance. Let, mm. Let's go get all the hack the movies plugs out of the way. Yeah, let's Tony get comes in here and, and tries to force it down your throat. <laughs> yeah, uh... Yeah, I'm going to be doing Alien tomorrow with uh, Johanna and Tony. That was a lot of fun. I had a really good time talking about the um, the Dan O'Bannon classic, Alien. Classic is a key word, Joe. It is. Yeah. Absolutely. It's one, of the, it's one of the best films ever made. So, um, it, It's a horror movie. Oh, yeah. Sincere Jay says, uh, I'm a first time Twitch viewer, but I have been binging the YouTube stuff for a few weeks now. Great stuff. Thank you very much. And will you do Appreciate videos it. on the lesser known Marvel movies before they had the MCU? Like Blade? Is it like that? Or, you mean maybe? Uh, maybe we. Th the thing Blade is, like, two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not so good Blade. going back. I I really liked Blade two a lot as a kid, and then I went back and I watched all three of them when I was I was working on something, and I was like, oh, this is. I mean, it's good, but that CG it looks like. Dog yeah. shit. All the practical I mean, stuff looks it, cool, though. At least it's not three with Triple H, and they had to you had that classic scene. If you know, again, if you look it up, where they had to literally CGI Wesley Snipes' uh, eyes open because he refused to open them. Look <laughs> it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's bad. <laughs> oh yeah. I was. I was gonna say we did uh, Roger Corman's Fantastic Four. If that counts, we did the the, the what was that 89, 88 Punisher. Yeah, the '89 Punisher. The, oh, those are two. Those are two great movies. I, I think they. I think they mean stuff like Blade, or like what was oh, another, yeah, I know, or like the Fantastic, Four, the newer Fantastic Four movies, stuff like that. You know, I, I'm kind of good. Uh, we talked. We talked about it like at length on that Fantastic Four episode. Both of those films. It would have to be a very special movie, but yeah, the MCU is such, not that we would, like Joe just said, it's not like something we wouldn't 100% not cover, but it's not, if, if you've been following the show, it's not necessarily something we'd be reaching for on the regular. Right. Oh, for God's sake, Paranorman, please do not hurt yourself on that damn forklift, man. Don't be, don't be <laughs> looking at your fuck, don't be looking at us. If you're, you can listen to us, don't look at the phone. This man always on the forklift that's supporting the show. I, I can't be too mad, Joe, but you're right. Can you believe that? See, he's risking his life to listen and watch us. Uh, a kindred spirit with our friend C.B. Smith from uh, taking a page in books of the movie. He is also, I don't know if he still is, but a, a fellow forklift driver. He's told me some uh, stories where maybe he wasn't paying attention uh, to, uh, as much as he should have. And I'll leave that for him to maybe tell one day. But <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, a man. Blank Man, we've talked about many. That might be one we might want to cover down the road. Blank, blank Man, we talked about a lot, and Manelli is in uh, Bushwhack, <sighs> so MD, he's already there. So we got to get that, that golden shower, Joe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fresh mountain spring water, baby, on my face. Um, If you're doing Blank Man, what about Meteor Man? Jaja said, uh, We did Meteor Man. Yeah, Davy DeForm, go back. Davy DeForm uh, came on. Uh, what was that, season two? three i believe or three. three i think I it was three yeah because we did punisher and then the next year we did meteor man and we talked all about the comic book adaption stuff there's, that's a great episode uh, and there's a bunch of posts on instagram too where we like did a, we used to do like deeper dives in like uh uh social media posts about stuff that we talked about we i want to start doing that again um i guess that's a good segue to talk about like um the schedule going forward and we've been we've been humping it since uh february um, and we've been putting out a lot of stuff. Now, the jump to video is a great one, but it's a laborious one. Way more laborious than putting out the, the podcast itself. So what's going to happen is 
We're gonna go but we started doing this with the with the with the audio show, but we were doing two main episodes a month. I think we were doing it at the at last year anyway. We definitely jumped around yeah. a bit, but that was the goal. I mean that you yeah. know, internally. So, but so was, oh, go ahead, Joe. So oh, well basically we're gonna be we're gonna be doing we're gonna be going back to the format of two main shows a month. So you'll get one at the top of the month and the end of the month. Um and then in between you'll still get talks every week. Um, and then you'll have a ripe here and there. And then of course, Patreon stuff is completely separate, but just for the main public stuff, um, we're just going to, unless we have an event month that we have planned, um, there will only be two main shows a month. So, yeah, so it's just that. like, just like Joe said, it's, uh, not to beat this drum, but it's like, if we were doing this full time, which we'd yep. love to do eventually, uh, it's just. We 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 bit off maybe more than we, we like that alligator <laughs> well, bit off a little bit more than we could chew, but we we were making it work. But we need to uh, uh, scale back a little to make sure that the quality doesn't dip. I could keep going, or we could keep going, but we don't want to burn ourselves out because we have a lot of content that we want to talk about. And we want to be excited and fresh for you guys every every uh, episode. Um, that being said. I know we've said this before, but, um, you know, you've seen us on sh on hack the movies and stuff. And we've done stuff with Epic Film Guys and like other, uh, you know, relatively large shows we've, we've been on. Um, we are still it's still just Sean and I. It, we're producing the show. We're editing the show. We're making the graphics. We're doing the videos. We're doing the posts. It's, it's just it's just me and him. We're not owned by anybody. So we do this. We do this because we love to do it. And we do it, you know, after after hours, you know, because we get we still got to work, you know, we got to work our regular job. So until until when that happens, whenever that switch happens, um, then we'll then we'll put out more content more frequently. However, um, I want to say that because you guys have been supporting us so much, and we it, it's like insane to us. Like we were we were doing the so we put out a Patreon blast today. And I was going down the, the the Patreon list, and I was marking everybody off to like get their T-shirts and what have you. And I and, and I'm and I, I texted John. I was like, "Holy shit!" Or he texted me, and he was like, "Holy shit, man!" There's like fucking fifty people who signed up in the past month. I was like, completely floored. And like, that's that's the kind of work I want to do. Like, oh, mm. I we got to get a hundred orders out. You know what I mean? Like that. That's uh, great. That's cool. That's cool yeah. stuff, though. I even it's I exciting. Saw a it's fun. People, I, I agree, Joe. It, it's kind of crazy. I mean, last year, I forget what the number was at exactly. But we're like, OK, this is doing really well. Everyone seems to be enjoying the content. But once we go to video, let's see what happens. And it was like, wow, just the, the outpouring of people that are signing up that are enjoying, yeah. you know, the commentary tracks, the watch alongs. Uh, some of you may be in the chat uh, and the mini sodes like it, it, it's just really just um it feels really good because, like Joe said, we've been doing this now five years, give or take. And it's just uh, I think we're both very happy with what we're putting out. And it's very uh, satisfying or gratifying. I'm not sure the exact word there just to just to see the reaction from you guys in the chat and just everybody else on uh, YouTube and on the on, on the iTunes and the Spotify's of the world. Just really digging the show. Oh, uh, I think the last time we looked, we were in the low uh, hundreds, and that that's kind of a, an incredible feat, honestly, uh, Joe. It it blows me away. I mean, everybody who who has been listening to the show for so long, but then again, the new audience that we're reaching on on YouTube, and then them coming together, yeah, in as a community, like the people who listen to the the audio show, and then the video show, and then people who do both <laughs> and they're all yeah. hanging out together and talking and stuff. That's fucking cool, man. And again, like I can't, I can't stress the fact enough. Like we want to bring you the best show that we can. And in doing that, you know, we want to keep, we want to keep that up here. Uh, uh, we don't want to just turn something out just to get sure. an episode out at the end of the week. Like that, I guess that's what, a, what, a, what the big picture is here. Like we really want to focus and be like, okay, this is a movie we really wanted to talk about and we have a lot to say about it and we're passionate about talking about it. Um, and that's the whole reason we're even doing this in the first place. And it's the added bonus that y'all want to hang out and listen to it. Right. So. Especially so like those premieres uh, on YouTube. Like I know there's some people that that are a diehard audio listeners and I get it. I've been there. You know, you got that car ride, your commutes or what have yeah. you. You got the audio version. But uh, it's been really cool seeing you guys in the premieres, too. Uh, just chit-chatting with us as we go through the episode. 
And uh, someone in the chat, I think Ty mentioned, uh, what about uh, Discord? Now, we have one that we, we've been dabbling with. It's just kind of been put on the back burner, but that is something we would like to uh, put out there for you guys. We do have a Reddit. If you, if you ever want to hit the Reddit, it's just yeah. reddit.com uh, slash r slash uh, movie dumpster. Uh, yeah, mostly guys... just the post from the episodes. We had a couple people pop in there a couple months back, but if you want to, you want to hop in there, that's there. Yeah. If you want like a, if you want like a hub where you all can hang out together and talk together amongst yourselves or whatever, you know what I mean? Because we don't really have that on Facebook or anything like that. You know, we don't have a Facebook group. So I don't know. You tell us. What would you like? Would you like a would you like a, a movie dumpster group that y'all can get together in besides like Instagram or something like that? Like a like instead of a post, like would you does Reddit do it for you? Do you want us to make a Facebook group so you guys can get in and hang out? Um, right. Is is Discord the option? Like, I don't know. A lot well, of people do Discord, Joe. Uh, the the reason we didn't do Discord was because there's a finite amount of people that we can let into that. So I think that's why we do it this way. I think we had this discussion and I can't remember because like we made a decision and then I dumped it out of my brain. So I think, it, <laughs> but yeah, because it's, there's too much in there, but I was, I, I remember researching it a lot and being like, you can only have X amount of people in. And I was like, well, that works at the beginning because we only had like five people who were signed up, you know, three years ago, but now there's right. 117 people. <laughs> signed right, up for patreon yeah for patreon yeah. and it's like they can't all fit in there for a watch along or, or what have you you know so we kind of we kind of skirt the system a little bit and 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 do it do it our way uh the 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 the, the gray way you know but uh, <laughs> and let, you know if there's something else uh, another way we can do it uh you know uh we'd be open to it for sure yeah 100 percent. it's yeah. something we are very open to put it that way yeah uh, cause we, again, not to beat a, a dead horse, like that Godfather episode, you know, ep I don't know why I said episode fucking in the Godfather, the horse in the bed, Joe, just like death dream. You know, you did oh, that yeah. video yep. family matters. Uh, what the hell was that called? Uh, nothing matters. Nothing matters with the fucking <laughs> horse head. Oh my God. Go back and look that video up on YouTube if you missed it. But again, I mean, I, I'm not really familiar with discord, but as far as I understand, it works similar to what we're doing right now. No. Uh, People my in the chat, and we're talking, and you can see us, and we're and we're doing the thing, right? Uh, you could basically. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into the woods here, but my uh, my experience is it's basically message boards. So you could set up uh, topics, but you could have like sections that are locked away, which is I think what you're talking about, Joe. If okay. we had like a Patreon exclusive section. Or if we, uh, I know a lot of people do it where you have to be part of their Patreon or their Twitch subs or yeah. what have you. Uh, so uh, we got to do a little bit more research on our end, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm down that's, to do that's it. That's my understanding. As long as it's accessible for a large number of a larger number of people, right? Um, I'm totally down for that. Yeah, if that's something you guys want to see. And we see people sometimes on on our Facebook page do leave comments. Uh, I don't know if you're in here, but I know Rod uh, leaves a lot of comments on there. What's on? What's going on, Renan? Hey, Renan. Uh, but uh, I, we also try to respond, if not every YouTube comment, most of the YouTube comments. So I hope anyone that's been going through there, leaving comments, have seen that. Uh, I, oh, why yeah. not? Why, we we just we like talking to you guys. We like to respond to what you have to say, and uh, I hope that you guys like that. I mean, I like doing it. I don't, yeah, I'm no, sure totally. Joe loves doing it too. And again, like if we haven't responded to you yet, it's just because we need to get to it because there's a lot of stuff, which is a good thing. Yes, there's a lot of comments of stuff. So that, that's awesome. Um, Renan, I don't I, I, I'm definitely going to look into the we're we going to definitely look into the to the uh, discord. I, I just want to make sure that enough people can get in there at once. And it's not like, oh, pay uh, three hundred dollars a month to have unlimited <laughs> whatever. And it's like, no, that's no. <laughs> yeah. Again, I, I stress this in the beginning. We're not backed by a company, right? It's just Sean and I and and your support. That's that's the show, right? It's 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 me, this guy, this guy <laughs> and you and all of you. That's it. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're in these boxes. We're not yeah. together for, for, yeah. for the first time in God knows how long. Uh, but yeah, uh, let us know. I mean, you, you could shoot us a message. We'll, we'll, we'll look in the chat, see what people have to say. And just yeah. uh, we, we'll, uh, we'll we'll take uh, that and, and just go from there. Yeah, no, totally. Um, Simmer Mike. Yeah, I mean, uh, we are trying to maximize our social media presence. We were we were going real hard in the beginning um, with promoting posts and all that kind of shit. But then we were like, wait a second, uh, we don't want empty likes on the page. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Somebody follows a page. It's great. But like, I don't give a fuck 
about how many people are following us. I care about who's engaging with us. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we had fucking 10 followers, which we did at one point that were super engaged with the show, that's that's good enough for me. You know what I mean? Um, I, I want we want people to want to be a part of the show and the community and stuff, you know, not force it on people. Although we do need to get the word out to more people. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and and part of that is just putting these episodes out. And like we say in the premiere and, and, and on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook and everywhere else in between, just, uh, you know, we use these live shows to a point, And I know a lot of you guys are, are following us, obviously, but uh, just kind of get the word out, you know, let people know about the show that maybe aren't as familiar with it. You know, share share the videos that you like, you know, uh, like the videos, yeah. uh, go go into iTunes, leave that five star review. And if you got a few minutes, write, write a review. Uh, it costs nothing at all. It yeah. really does help us uh, get out to more people. And honestly, like us telling people about the show is good, but you have no idea how powerful your voices are, right? If you suggest the show to your friends because you really like it, that means I feel like that means more to somebody. Like I, I'm more inclined to check something out that somebody's like, "Hey, man, did you see this thing? It's really cool." I'd be like, "No, I didn't, but I trust your opinion or whatever." It's not su- it's not like an ad on fucking Facebook or Instagram like telling me to you know watch this or or, or look at this. You know, does that make sense? So, yeah, it makes sense, Joe. Yeah, and, and you know what, Patrick, that is uh, one of the highest compliments you could give us. And Patrick says. Uh, Movie dumpster panel at New York Comic Con in the future. I <laughs> definitely believe that's how popular you guys could be, in my opinion. Better than Mystery Science Theater. I'll that take is, it. I, I that, that, appreciate that is a bold, it a lot. That, that is a bold statement. That's very sweet of you. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> that's that's very nice of you to say. Um, and and you know, I when we started this. I don't really, I mean, Jesus Christ, we're doing like a retrospective now, but like when we started this, <laughs> you know, um, we didn't expect to take out as much as it, as it did, as it has so far. But like, yeah, you know, the whole, the whole idea was to build an audience and create an audience and um, a community uh, that has a love for these movies like we do. And in turn, it's easier to, to create things with the power of everybody. You know what I mean? So like if there was something you wanted to see or like like let's say one day because I'm a filmmaker, right? Like one day I was like, hey, guys, I have this idea for this movie or this TV series like Sean and I have. And like we're going to start producing it like you're the first people are going to be like probably be the call to arms. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just I feel like I feel like you guys support what we do. I'll, uh, and it's it's fucking awesome. Does that make sense? Did I just sound like an idiot? Maybe. No, no, you, that, that made sense because, I mean, I, we haven't really talked about any of that stuff because it's so like, uh, you know, b- BTS, you know, there you go, Johnny Blue, you know what I'm talking about, no, behind the scenes uh, yeah. kind of stuff that me and Joe, we have a couple of, uh, no, more than a couple, honestly, uh, scripts we've worked on on and off over the last, God, it feels like a decade that have just yeah. like, one day we'd love to, to, to make these things. I mean, obviously, I... Uh, the show is what it is, obviously, and we're, we're, we're happy to take everyone along with us. But yeah. that is something in the back of, I think, both of our heads that we'd love to uh, take you along the ride for also, besides just movie dumpster specifically. And and you're right, Joe, that is something that I think as we get more people in the dumpster, as we like to say, uh, <laughs> checking out the show, uh, letting us know what they like about it, maybe what they yeah. don't like. Yeah. Uh, we can kind of get closer to that goal. Um, and and. and Everyone in the chat here just kind of is, again, I don't mean to be a, a dead fucking horse here, but is kind of just uh, somewhat a little proof to me. And I would I, I would imagine, Joe, that it's working and everyone seems to be into it. Uh, it doesn't yeah. feel like people are just hanging out just for the fuck of it. It's like you guys g- genuinely uh, like the show and, and care about what we have to say. And that's kind of uh, already amazing. a win in my eyes. It's pretty amazing yeah. that somebody wants to listen to me ramble about kids movies from the 90s. Um, about mushy. <laughs> uh mushy mushy uh eyeball soup dude eyeball soup go check that guy out he's making awesome fucking artwork he he shared a photo of he's doing a a, a drawing a mashup of tetsuo <laughs> the iron man and sean and myself and it's looking amazing like totally like yeah. blew me away 
because if you've seen the finished pieces, they're excellent. So it was just a sketch. So I, I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be fucking incredible. So that's, it's very awesome. And thank you very much. Uh, we're very excited for that. Me too. I, 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 anytime we get fan art it, it is another thing that blows me away. But that, you know, it's that's a recent one. So it's like burned in my brain. And I have to comment on this. Brendan, yeah, every time uh, I say a uh, dead horse, take a oh, shot. I mean, oh, I think, here I'm on my second glass of wine. So I guess is that a third or fourth time? There you uh, go. Man. You know, uh, I'm just going to be uh, really drunk. So, uh, you know, wine, it gets to you quick. <laughs> you At least I'm almost drink at the too bottom much. You got work glass. tomorrow, mister. I got, I'll skip the third glass then. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. I don't, I don't uh, give I don't. a shit. You're you're um, you're a, you're a large grown man. You're gonna do whatever you want. Yes. Um, <laughs> I want to I want to pivot a little if you don't mind. Joe. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, no. Let's do it. Like I just wanted to kind of get some answers. I just it's just, it's it's been on my mind. Um. So all of that was part part of that. So, but yeah, we yeah. can talk about some some fun stuff now. Like, what well, maybe what we've watched. This uh, these past these past couple weeks. What were you gonna say? Well, that's where I was going with it. Honestly, oh, okay, show, all right, go uh, in there, handsome. I was watching. I kind of got sucked into it. It's a very short series on Netflix, and I feel like it'd be right up your. Uh, it's called. Uh, it's on Netflix. I might get the name I'm slightly wrong here, but it's like Nights or something to that Night- effect. Nightmare. Oh yes, Julie. My wife was watching it too. There's some cool, uh, I, they, 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 not cool, but like interesting, uh, disgusting things going on. Yeah, I, I won't give the goose away, but there's a uh, two episodes I watch. And I, again, I don't think this is a long series at all. The first one I saw was about some old woman who's basically a serial killer. Oh, that was watch a great episode. one. I, yeah, that was a great one. I oh, saw it. OK, great. I watched and most a, of it. Yeah, there's a two parter. That's, I think, the finale about this guy who's a serial squatter. And, oh, my God, my skin was crawling for the two hours of this show. It was I Randy Quaid, wasn't it? Sc- <laughs> yeah, he came down from Canada. He has that full beard. He won't leave the damn room. He's in the dungeon. He's in the corner over there by those gremlins. Oh, no. I didn't, no, he, no, no, no. Uh, Creeping up on that me. Was, that was a lot of fun. Well, fun. It, it's an interesting show. It got my blood boiling. I, I felt like I needed a goddamn uh, nap after watching it. But oh. uh, I, I just uh, another show, and then I'll, and I'll flip it to you, Joe, that I've been watching. And I mentioned this a few times. For anyone keeping track, I'm still on the last season of X-Files with Mulder. I, I am really just trickling through this motherfucker because I just love Mulder so much. I think I watch an episode a month at this rate. I think I'm like two away from him leaving the show. But I've been... Very, I'm almost. This is a scary thought, Joe. I'm almost done with Dexter. What the fuck am I? I'm gonna do. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm on next. the last season. You're on. The, you're on the new season. Are you on the I last don't... season or the new blood season? I'm on the last season. Doctor Vogel's all in about the brain lady. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't hate it. I'm I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop to see where everyone just turned on the show. Um, <laughs> but I've been enjoying it's this. Coming. I, I, yeah, I wonder, like, if you watch this weekly, if I would have had a very different opinion. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. I, the character is iconic to me now of Dexter Morgan. Yeah. And I, I totally get why people fell in love with the show. And I won't say too much because there's just so many things I could say that are just huge spoilers. But I really like the direction that a lot of the characters are taken. And uh, that's kind of what I've been watching. I mentioned the show before. When I finally watched Scream 4, don't have much to say. I really liked it. Mm. I kind of knew who was the killer was going into it because it's been out for 10 fucking years. So, of course, you get spoiled on it. But beyond <laughs> that, I liked it. So uh, that's kind of what I've been watching, Joe. Before I go into it, I just want to answer. I just want to hit some of these comments sure. real quick. Foolish Warrior uh, says, hope to meet you guys at a local con in the in the in the future. Yeah, uh, uh, we'll we'll be around. We'll definitely be at Mahoning. We might have a show of our own coming up. That we haven't started advertising yet, but you can get tickets for it. But I don't. I'm not. I don't want to say what it is exactly yet. It's already up. Though it's live. Uh, but uh, we, will, we will. We will be announcing it officially soon. Very very soon, within the next week or so. Yes. Um, it's very very excited. Uh, but yeah, but we'll be around. We were gonna go to Monster Mania. Haven't been there, but uh, you know. Yeah, we got hit with that we crazy plan- weather. The fucking weekend. Plan on going. It. To, yeah, I know. Plan on going to Chiller and stuff. So so we'll see. So we'll see. Yeah, something right. Uh, Billy Mount says, will you guys do a video on not another teen movie? Um, maybe, <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I love that Are you on movie. Patreon? 
maybe maybe we'll do it on Patreon. We'll do we'll do a mini of that. How's that sound? I, I would love that. I think I mentioned it on the last live stream or one of the one watch alongs. Yeah, I want to I want to we Sean and I talked about it briefly, but we're going to start introducing uh, polls on Patreon. So oh, yeah. if there's something you guys want us to cover that's not necessarily in our, our regular scheduled programming, that's the place that's the place to do it. And we'll even yeah, it'll be fun. So that should be a good time. Uh, and I see a few other people. Ken's watching the X Files currently too. Hope you're enjoying oh, yeah. it. Uh, there are very few. I mean, I can't even count them on one hand. Bad episodes up to where I am, at least. Uh, I think it's <laughs> season uh, seven or eight. I forget. I haven't watched it in a hot. The last episode I watched was Kathy Griffin who had a twin sister, and every time they got too close to each other, bad shit happened. So that was the last episode I watched, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Uh, Ty, he said, uh, Ty, the blockbuster guy, I'm like 2,500 miles away from you guys, but at constant spirit. You, who knows, man? We, You know, maybe by the end of the year, maybe next year we'll be over there. You don't know. That is something we've we'll, talked maybe about. Maybe we'll do an, an, an MD uh, uh, European tour or West Coast tour. <laughs> I would love to do a West Coast tour. I, you know, my wife has family out there. It'd be a good excuse yeah. to do a double whammy. Two birds, yeah. one stone, Joe. Yeah, if there's like a con out there or something, we love we love to go. Um, so as far as stuff I've seen, hmm. so you mentioned Scream Four. I watched Scream Five. Okay. Or Scream, just Scream, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, S S C R five A M. Um. But yeah, that that sounds right, right? Did I spell that right? Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it it's okay. Like I don't know. It just how much how much more meta can you get than what that movie was? Right? It was the reboot, sequel, soft reboot, legacy movie, fresh start? Question mark. Um. Again, I'm not going to spoil it, but like. They already announced Scream 6, and I'm just like a 100% fucking good on that. Like, you did it. Congratulations. You pulled it off. Like, you were able to make this movie and mm. it be fine. I mean, I, again, I'm not the biggest Scream fan, but, um, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was bad. It, it was just kind of like, eh, eh. I, I, I'm, not I, a, I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of, of the meta shit. I'm just not. Not done. See, like I that. am. I'm the polar opposite, and you know this about me, Joe. I love the meta shit, and you know, that's true. I think why I like a lot. I'm one of the weird birds out there that likes Scream Three. I'm like, you know, the ending's stupid, but I think that was the point. And everyone else is like, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> well, you're not an asshole. I just don't give a shit. Like, yeah, no, oh, I okay. get it. I get it. Oh, it's good, great, cool. Like, I, you know how I like my meta, uh, uh, student bodies. That's how I like my meta. That's a good okay. one. You, That's a good if you one. Ever see, if you've ever seen that movie. Because um, it's also like a comedy. Like, it's a spoof, right? Like, I, I much rather watch Scary Movie than Scream 5, wow. I guess is what I'm saying. A Scary Movie and, 1 and 2 are, are bangers, man. But, like, is that the next step? Is Scream 6 Scary Movie? Is it eventually... Is a snake going to finally eat its own fucking tail? You know? Like, Ouroboros? Maybe. It Who might. Knows? It might. Um... And that's a good point, uh, uh, John Big Boot. Are they going to call it Scream 6? Or Scream 5 should have just had 5 next to the title. Because it's like, again, they're not going to call it Scream 2. It's this like the sequel from... Right, exactly. From the sequel Scream from Kills, seven. Joe. Scream Kills. Scre uh, uh, evil dies tonight. Ghostface dies tonight. Because I guess what is that? That's obviously on some level like part of the meta humor where they're just making fun of like how movies are just called like Halloween mm. again. Okay. So, so sincere Jay just said. Speaking of meta, I still want a Leslie Vernon sequel. That fucking movie is a masterpiece. The ri the rise of Leslie Vernon, where it's basically a a, a, a documentary team uh, following a serial killer, but they don't believe he's a serial killer yet until he huh. starts actually killing. <laughs> it's dude. I, I don't want to oh. say anymore. Just see it. I gotta it's look that up. Cool. It's a lot of fun. I saw. Oh man, I saw that. I saw the premiere of that movie, or one of the premieres of that movie at Monster a Monster Mania Con, like back when it came out. I remember, I, I or it might have been Fangoria, 
when they were still doing Weekend of Horrors, because when you used to go to those cons, they had like j- big posters, like like 24 by uh, or, or 27 by 40 posters that you can just pick up and take home. They're like, oh, yeah, it's free. The movie came out. I have there's like shit over there. I got from like Saw 3. There's like a right there is uh, 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 Dental Floss promo oh, yeah. from, from Saw 3. And then like the Grudge 2 thing is right next to it. The eyeball bag. That was all stuff that was just on the table. You didn't have to pay for it. They just gave that shit out. It was cool. Um, oh, here's but, one uh, for you. I don't, I don't know if you were going to lead into this, but I'll throw it right to you, Joe. Okay. Patrick mentions that they just saw X yesterday with their wife. Yeah, it was fucking great. Um, I I got the opportunity to I, I saw a matinee of that. Man, let me, there's nothing better than going to the movies and paying like six bucks. I gotta do that just more, going Joe. In. Yeah, it was great, man. Um, my wife, my wife was was away. She was doing something. She oh, she was at a friend's house, and um, I was like, shit, you know, uh, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go to the movies and and see X. So I went to go see it. It was it was just me and one other dude in the theater, and uh, I fucking loved it. it. It was really excellent. Um, Ty, Ty West, uh, I feel like ha- I think I think that's my favorite new release of the year only because like it's independent but also not independent you know it's an a24 joint but it's so not like we've got we've had like an an overabundance of ip shit this year uh between like scream and chucky and uh you batman uh, eat batman well we'll talk about batman in a second but um but yeah it's it just like Especially, I'm talking about specifically the horror genre, though. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the regurgitated shit, or or even Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know? It's just the regurgitated shit, and we're trying to keep these series going, so it was like this great, wonderful breath of fresh air. Um, And I will go and say that X was a better Texas Chainsaw movie in terms of uh, style and uh, 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 aesthetic than the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 was. It's a great flick. Um, it deals with all kinds of shit between like sex and uh, Christian values and getting old and um, all, all all of that stuff kind of wrapped into into one morals and all that kind of stuff. It was it was really fucking excellent. Um, and I got to talk about that with the wonderful gents, Justin, Jeremy and Brady over on Epic Film Guys. If you guys haven't listened to that episode yet, go check it out. Um, I had a ton of fun with them, um, and uh, they asked me to come on to talk about it, and and we had a great time. Yeah, I uh, I got to see this movie. I I might wait a little bit only because, well, maybe I can, you can confirm this off air or not if it is a big spoiler. But when I looked up Ty West's uh, upcoming movies, his next movie I is is a prequel to this film, and I don't it's a know prequel if to this film. And Which, it's the name of a character that I don't know is a spoiler, so I'm kind of waiting for my brain to forget what I read and then watch it, if that makes sense. I'm not going to talk about it here. You're going to go sure. see the movie. I'll even go see it with you, because I want to see it again before it goes out of movie theaters. That's how good me I up. thought it was. Um, and uh, and then we could talk about it afterwards. Okay. Me, personally, I don't need whatever they're doing. I know what they're doing, and I don't need it, because Fair. I, f- I, I feel like that's that might be keeping X from being a better movie. Okay. Because now it's connected to this other thing. We'll see. Um, it doesn't take anything away from the movie, I guess is what I'm saying. But like knowing that it exists kind of, it's like an immediate sequel that already kind of cheapens it for me particularly. Got it. Okay. Um, I, and I you know liked, what? I, I liked all the mystery that was in X a, a lot, and I and I and I and I prefer to keep it that way and let your imagination fill in the blanks. That that's just me. Got you, got you. And you know what, uh, John Big uh, Boot? You're right. In matinee, John Goodman played a William Castle type uh, director. You're right. You're 100 percent right. Uh, <laughs> you know, he put that gimmicky stuff in the movie theater, like the stuff uh, Castle did. I haven't thought about that movie in a hot fucking minute. Matinee. That is, from what I recall, pretty good, right? It's fucking great. Uh, to your point too about the gimmicky stuff in the theater. Um, there's a there's a project that I've been working on for uh, a while with uh, with Chris Barr from Talks from the Dark Side that we do Talks from the Dark, Dark Side with. Um, which is an H.P. Lovecraft based film. Oh. And, and we had all of these 
gimmick things. Not even gimmicks, but really like like 4D, like the 4DX, but not like shaking your chair or anything, but really immersing you with the dread of the of the film. Um, I would love that. I I I I love the idea, like the tingler and shit like that, with like the fucking mm-hmm. hoses underneath the seats and shit. That movie's so that movie's so good. Uh, the tingler. No, oh, well, matinee, the tingler. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. Mant, the 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 movie in the movie where the yeah. guy turns into a fuck. You know, it's basically the fly, oh, but it's the ant, but it's an ant. <laughs> kind of great it's, it's like uh, a fly I, I, mixed with um um like the giant man like the mantis movie i think it's called the giant mantis uh been a minute but that sounds right and uh, you know what joe without saying dick let's put it that way that's another <laughs> script that's gotta happen down the road man because i know exactly what you're talking about and yeah, i well, i would love for you guys to pull that off well yeah i've been i've been thinking about it and just sidebar for sean and i but like i want to shoot some stuff that we were talking about mm. earlier this week and and a promo and and some concept shit for that because it, it's time you know uh yeah yeah a little a little uh all i'll say is maybe we'll peek behind comedy. the curtain <laughs> oh yeah we got a so we have a comedy and a horror but not together yeah, <laughs> they're two yeah, different yeah. things i mean i mean there's some well anyway there's some yeah, elements any, the scripts well, for sure <laughs> sure um so you mentioned I mentioned it honestly, but you said we'll get to it. Do you want to talk about Batman briefly? Because I fucking think it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Yes, but it's going to be longer than me answering Patrick Carrico talking about much like Lamb. I watched Lamb too, and I okay. Um, take like go talk about Lamb. Tell me about Lamb, Lamb. Lamb was something that I really wanted to see, and I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters. Um, I liked it. We liked it. My, my wife and I liked it. Um, and the ending of that movie is less ambiguous. They set all of it up, but they never go into what particularly that lore is. I think it's, Mm. I think it's like a Swedish legend or, or or lore or something. Um, I, I, I had a good time with it. I think, I think it was fine. I don't think it was my best, my favorite pick of the year, but it was good. It was good. It looked um, interesting. Yeah. I I haven't gotten around seeing it, but the trailer really caught my attention. Check it out. I think it's worth a watch for sure. It's more it's more like a family drama. Um Okay. Than anything. Um and then we could we could talk about it cuz he can't talk about it without spoiling it. Um Fair. but uh but yeah, Batman. Uh I just saw it for my second time on Friday. I, t- I had a wonderful uh weekend with my folks cuz I hadn't seen them in months, so we went out to see Batman on Friday and then we went to the aquarium on Saturday. Uh, I, I like I just said, I think Batman, honestly, I, I got to watch it another time and I, I do have to marinate on it a little more. But I think just I don't know if it's a hot take, but after my second viewing, I'm like, I just think this is honestly in my top four films of all time between just the way that they portray the character and just the just the movie as a whole. I mean, I know some people maybe might say, well, it's a comic book movie, but it's like if you saw this movie, I honestly like the people on, that were next to me on my second viewing, they were a little older. And I don't think they got it because they walked out and they were like, that was fucking boring. And it was like, I, first of all, I don't agree. And second of all, I think you kind of missed the point. Like if you wanted another <laughs> like, I mean, nothing against Batman Forever, like watch that review. We all love that movie. Sure. But it was a very different style of Batman. This was like your Frank Miller Batman or your Grant Morrison Batmans or, you know, your 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 late 80s, 90s Batman. That was just like this hardened motherfucker who's just figuring it out. And it, there's just so many. Like, I don't want to go super deep into it because, like, yeah. we have some more shit to talk about. But I just can't. Yeah, you're right, that, Ty, the diddler, which, uh, <laughs> again, that. <laughs> That, that kind of just happened. It wasn't a planned thing. I was dressed like the fucking Riddler and Joe and his wife kind of busted my chops about that. And I just fucking ran with it because that's just the way my brain works. But uh, go <laughs> watch the funny. Batman. Yeah, it was. But uh, the Batman, man, I just the Riddler's my favorite villain. And uh, I mentioned in that review that I was a little worried because they talked up the, the detective stuff. And I'm playing it up a little for comedy. I think I even said that in a comment to somebody that, well, every Batman movie had detective shit. But when you see this movie, <laughs> it is the focal point. And I think it, that's what makes it so great. Agreed. And w- it's funny you said that because we as soon as we were left, my dad was like, you know, that was a really good detective movie. And I'm like, yeah, because Batman is the greatest detective of all time. And he was even in those serials. He like. He was a guy in a costume, but like he was a detective first and yeah. foremost. So it was it was really cool to have all those elements in it. And it, play, you know, and and just another side note, Gotham sure. City in this movie oh. is just so perfect. It's this wonderful, like 
broken down gothic landscape like Wayne Manor is fucking beautiful like all the mm. ornate carvings in that round room that they always sit in uh absolutely uh, it's just a great it's just a really great film Paul Dano is fucking amazing oh uh, Zoe God, Kravitz God, was, was great as Catwoman yes. and, uh, and, uh, and fucking uh, you, see, you still can't what, touch Pfeiffer but I thought she nailed the part sure no I, I think I think I think Zoe's is the most accurate yeah well screen ac- or, or accurate uh, mm-hmm. to comics character version of Catwoman, but I love I love Michelle Pfeiffer. Sure, sure. Um, no, I, I I agree with you though, Joe. And just just to put a pin on the Gotham thing, and I'll take I'll send it back to you. Uh, yeah. I think it's the most interesting Gotham's been since sure. the Barton movies. I a hundred percent agree that the tone is there and all the architecture and shit, and it really feel. And you know, Bruce describe uh, or uh, what's his face um. Robert Pattinson describes mm. it as the city's eating itself <laughs> and it looks like it is, you know, um, very, very cool shit. Um, I, where do I want to go with that? I forgot. OK, so it's <laughs> because I interrupted you. I'm sorry. I just had no, to get no, that no, thought no, out okay. about Gotham. It, no, uh, I, good. And like, I don't want to like theorize here, but outside of the show, like I've talked to a few people and I'm just like, it's a movie where I'm already thinking about what the hell are they going to do about the sequel? And anytime I watch a movie or play a video game, or I guess some people even do this with music on some level where it's like, where are they going to go from here? And you're sitting there just trying to figure out, like, put those pieces together. Like, are they going to do Mr. Freeze? Are we going to get the black mask? Like, is Penguin going to be a bigger uh, a factor? And I, I don't want to get super deep in it because it's still a new movie. And if you haven't seen it, you have to see it. But there's just so many things that are just like, I don't know. I think that's a that makes a, a film successful, not only in my mind, but just in general, because I'm not the only one having these conversations. I mean, there's a million articles yeah. about it. Well, yeah. And that's kind of why we haven't covered it, too, because it's like, we, you know, shouting into the void. And it's like, yeah, we loved Batman. But like, there's so many other people that know the material and are covering it better than we ever could. So. I, I, and Serge, you're right. They're going to have this Penguin show. I'm kind of curious to see what that's going to be. I I, I yeah. forget if it's going to be a cartoon or live action. I, I maybe It's going to be live know. action. OK, it's going to be live. action. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, Colin Farrell as the Penguin was fucking he was incredible. I got you. Now my wife and I can't stop saying it. I got you. Yeah. Just I love the one in the line. house. Hey, take that easy, sweetheart. He, he's <laughs> oh, great. Wait, I never great. saw them goils. Uh, uh, I love great. He, when he reaches in his pocket at one point, he reaches. I think it's a shotgun, but I was convinced it was the fucking umbrella for on the first viewing. I <laughs> he wish he comes it was with an umbrella. We were in Target last night oh. and we saw the figures and he comes with the umbrella. By the way, McFarland put out a. Uh, figures of them and they had they had the Paul Daniel Riddler and everybody the penguin and, and Batman and stuff and Catwoman but uh yeah, and uh, you know what Rebecca you're right. right I mean I'm curious to see I, I hope this isn't a huge spoiler but a villain that is in this movie that is now they posted the, the scene about put it that way they su- yeah they posted the deleted scene so I would assume all of you have seen that and if you didn't I, I do want to talk about it a, just a little bit sure um, only how because, did you feel like, about it well first I want to say hello Rebecca and yes, hello, hello, Serge. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Um, I when we saw it in the theater the first time, and after after Pattinson goes in and talks to Dano, and all of that that happens at the end. Um, sure. I um I didn't need it. I, I'm so like like you the talk about being scene? bad. No, just e- even being in the film at all. Oh, I agree. I agree. Um, I just thought it was a little too much. It felt a little tacked on. And and I don't know. I'm fucking good on Joker shit. I am yeah. fucking 100% good. That's why I loved it so much because it was like we got we got a new penguin. We got a new Riddler. Um, and those all felt fresh. We've had fucking two or three other Jokers already or two Jokers since. since and they're both uh, great. Since uh um what do you call? Yeah, well, no, the, Romaro and yeah. Well, no, I meant I meant to say uh uh, uh oh Nicholson. He, yeah, and Heath Ledger too. Has there been two more Jokers? Well, we had Jared Leto also, and if you want, I yeah, was no Jared Leto and produce. that other fucking guy on Gotham that wasn't really Joker oh. but was Joker or some shit. That was, that was dumb, you know. Um, but I I don't, I don't know. Like I'm just I'm fucking good. Like I want to see a good Mister Freeze. Or I yeah. want to see, I, I, I would love, I mean, I wouldn't even mind a scarecrow in this universe. He fits right in real easy. 
You know what I, I mean? I agree. And like, I was even talking to uh, Kieran from uh, Cinemasker about this because he also really loved the film. And uh, we were talking about if you do Mr. Freeze, it would be specifically Freeze, at least. Yeah. It could be really cool because you could keep the detective element. Uh, it, per, I mean, I feel like he's going to have to, Matt Reeves. He, he would be shooting himself in the foot otherwise. But you like, just think about that. Like, keep that horror element. Like, he's finding fucking bodies that have like frozen, frozen off yeah. and shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know. That could be really cool. And I, really I was just cool. thinking, like, some of the mob shit, if they wanted to expand on that, could be interesting if you bring in someone like like the ventriloquist and Scarface. The ventriloquist that could would be, be cool. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think they're afraid to go a little crazy because, again, like, like, Pe- like Penguin and, and Joker look like fucking Dick Tracy villains. You know what I mean? Like heavy, yeah. heavy makeup, you know? Um, I could see Clayface working in this scenario. You can go supernatural with it without it being out of place yeah and, and like even opinion. in that i agree because even that deleted scene if you saw it a doll face might be good ty oh yeah uh, that'd be good, that, yeah that, um what was i gonna say Fucking like mad the joker hatter. yeah uh, mad hatter be cool mad hatter yeah. be cool like the yeah. joker they obviously are showing and if you haven't seen that scene and you saw the movie look it up it's on youtube on the official the batman youtube page uh it's like a five minute scene it's, it's worth watching even if yeah. i agree with joe that it should have been cut it's like a uh, Hannibal Lecter scene. Put it that way. That's the best way to describe it. I like that they're at least kind of keeping it in line a little bit with the comics, much like the actual movie where he looks like he has chemical burns all over his his body. Yeah. And if if they do use this character again, I honestly would be pit. Well, pissed is the wrong word because I'm excited for whatever they come up with, but I won't be as thrilled if the sequel is just it's Joker. I kind of want him to be like a background player. Maybe if we get a third film, which I think is planned then break out the Joker. Maybe then the Joker is behind a bunch of shit. But let's get another villain first. Maybe keep him in the keep him locked up. Let let's get him in the background. Maybe he starts get some wheels moving in in the uh, in the background. But I I don't if we're gonna get another Joker because again I I agree with you Joe. But I also understand that the Joker is his main antagonist. So I understand if they want to get him into a a lead role eventually. But you let's said let, that let's, perfectly, let though. Let's put him in the background for a bit. Yeah, but you just said that perfectly. You have a whole movie, just like the Arkham games, you have a whole fucking movie where it's somebody else, but the whole thing is orchestrated by Joker. You know yeah. what I mean? The end game, and then you're like, oh, fuck! You know? Well, I mean, look at The Dark Knight, honestly, which well, is easily my well, second favorite Batman movie. Well, yeah. in the sense of, like, Harvey Dent, specifically. Uh, the Joker sets him up in a position that it's like, he has his own plan, no matter what. But he has that backup plan with Harvey, where it's like, if you saw the oh. movie, I mean, I, I don't feel bad about spoiling a movie 10 years old at this point, but it's like he was Batman beat him, but he had that backup. Like, well, what about Harvey Dent? Yeah. OK, so there, there you go. Fucking how about a goddamn good two face that lasts for more than 10 minutes of the movie? That would be nice, right? Yeah. Um, and, so, and, uh, and, and Sonic uh, or Sonic Doom, Dusty and uh, and a uh, 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 surge said too, um, the Court of Owls. That would be fucking dope, man. There, be, there's that would interview. totally work. Yeah, Court of Owls and Mr. Freeze and a couple other characters, specifically Matt Reese and Robert Pattinson, have talked about in interviews of characters. They be they even talked about wanting to introduce Robin in the, into the series, which I feel like if you do that in the second one, it cheapens it. But if we get him in the third, I'd be cool with third, that personally. Third makes more sense. Let some fucking time pass, please. And honestly, like, not that I'm necessarily advocating for the death of a character, but. Crowbar. Oh, dude. He, <laughs> That's oh, all yes. I'm saying. <laughs> right in the third. Yeah, that would be that would be great. Uh, yeah. And Two Face um, could be cool. I wonder. Uh, we could kind of go two ways with that. We either get our Harvey Dent, and and we see what happens to him in this universe, or maybe we just have Two Face right off the bat, kind of like in the uh, Arkham games or a lot of those comic books. Yeah, uh, I'm, I, I'm psyched for whatever it is, Joe. I'm waiting for the fucking 4K Blu-ray. The first day it's out, I'm purchasing <laughs> it. I don't need an origin thing. They're doing it for the Penguin. They're, they're, to your point, they're doing that HBO Max series okay. about the Penguin. So maybe maybe that is the gap, the bridge. Because we're doing that yeah. a lot with like the Disney shit, like maybe that's the bridge to the second sure. movie, you know, like the rise to power and all that kind of stuff. I'm um, also thinking about as much as we love that Jim Carrey Riddler, we finally got the actually more yeah. common. At, I mean, they, they're playing up the Zodiac Killer shit, but I felt like it was more accurate to the comics and even those Arkham games to a point yeah. the way that character was portrayed. So I would yeah. love to see that. That's why I'm so big on Mr. Free specifically, because like. Yeah, everyone wants to joke about Arnold and, you know, it's the Ice Age and all this shit. But let's get a legit, like, you know, Batman the Animated Series, Sub-Zero style, Mr. Freeze. Or again, like, I don't mean to keep referencing him, but the Arkham games, I think, nailed that character. And obviously, there's a thousand comics that have nailed that character that for I just sure, would love sure. to see in live action. Yeah, and He's my second favorite villain. 
Somebody said hush before too, and that would totally work. Hush. Yeah. Yeah. Um. um yeah. At, at the. Uh, go ahead. Uh, if you got anything else to say about Batman, I don't want to spend a lot of Batman uh, shit. <laughs> too, too much more on Batman. I, I I could talk about it for hours, honestly. Yeah, sure. Oh, Renan said the ventriloquist played by Jeff Dunham. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would love to see a funnier die sketch for that, but not in an actual movie. I hate <laughs> Jeff Dunham. The guys, are, I, I, I'm not trying to bring the room down, but those no. puppets are racist. No. What else? What the hell else did I see? Oh, I watched. Oh, we watched Copycat with uh with our our friends the uh the Kyles, yeah, Evan and Christina. We watched um, we had some nice corned beef and cabbage, and we watched Copycat. That was fucking great with Sigourney Weaver and uh, Holly Hunter and um, some who else? Somebody else in that movie. Oh, the guy from Mothman Prophecies. I forgot his fucking name. Not Richard Gere. The other guy. Um, that what was excellent. That? What's that? What uh? What genre is that? I never heard of that. It's a it's a horror movie. It's a, like a, it's like a crime drama because like there uh, ah. Sigourney Weaver plays like um this uh um psycholo- this uh, uh murder psychologist right. So she like psychoanalyzes you know like Bundy and Dahmer and Gacy and shit. Um, and she gets like huge from it and and kind of uh uh. uh is able to pinpoint different people like like the like the the age bracket and the and the uh you know they're like 30 you know 20 to 30 year old white male or whatever is usually a serial killer what have you and it and it, and shows this kind of behavior and all this kind of shit anyway she's really good at analyzing all that stuff and as she gets attacked by this dude and then she basically has this whole episode where she becomes like agoraphobic so she's stuck in her apartment wow. and then there's this fucking guy or this killer you know the serial killer that's reenacting kills from other serial killers that's why it's called copycat but the okay. whole web the whole web of the of of what's happening is to to uh you know get to her eventually at the end so like it, it's really fucking good you got to check it out i gotta put that one on the damn list too yeah. joe i got, I got a, a list a mile long it was really excellent i loved it dermot mulroney is his name thank you julie uh, what, what's going on, Ty? How you doing? Oh, what's up, man? Um, How you doing, Joe? Uh, do, uh, do you want to start getting into uh, what we got coming up? Uh, you have anything else you want to talk about? You yeah, saw? Yeah. Well, well, everybody's asking about the card again, and uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this is again. This is where is it? This arm? Hold on, it's my uh, my my Loch Ness monster card again. There's a big Loch Ness, mon- Loch Ness monster on the back. I can't wait to go to Scotland and drink scotch next to Loch Ness with this on. Um, I better see a damn picture if you ever get out. There, I'm going Joe. swimming there in that bitch. One. You do you you wait. I'm gonna come home with a fucking armful of Nessie shit. Don't you worry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bring me um, home a mug. That's all I yeah. ask. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess yeah. Let's get into what's coming up because we're gonna wrap up soon. Um, so again, like we said, we only got two major. We're gonna so May uh uh or April is gonna be a lit uh, a little thin. In terms of main episodes, because you're going to get a ripe review and you're going to get a main episode, but mm. you're also going to get talks from the dark side and you're going to get uh, stuff for, for, for Patreon that we have not hammered out yet. Um, but we're kicking it off on the first. We're dropping um, our ripe review because the mutants at Troma, the fine folks at Troma were so nice to reach out to us uh, to review uh, their new movie. Uh, well, Uncle Lloyd's new movie, uh, Shakes, uh, hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm. So that's coming at you um, on Friday, April 1st. We're talking about Shakespeare Shitstorm. That um, was a crazy opportunity, honestly. Uh, have you met uh, Lloyd Crawford before, Joe, personally? I've met him, I've met him a, a bunch of times. He's he's a very down-to-earth, cool guy. He, he He's a he's a wackadoo, and I love him so much. Um, again, we talk about it. On, we'll talk about it on that episode. But, sure, uh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. But just in short, Shakespeare's shitstorm was such a great return to form. Like it's trauma and Lloyd like on top of their game. It is. It's going to piss you off and make you laugh your ass off. It's going to be. It's so good. I really I really loved it. Spoiler. Um, uh, yeah, it it was a lot of fun to talk about. I'm looking forward to getting that out into the uh, ether, if you will. Oh, big time. Um, big time. The shitstorm's coming, guys. April first. It's it's not Jeff Goldblum laughing. It's not. Uh, <laughs> it's not Shakes the Clown. Which yeah, yes, yes, might be relevant We're, in a second, but it's yeah. it's a motherfucker. It's an actual episode. Way. It's an actual episode. There is no gimmicks or jokes being played on you. However, 
um uh, was it last year or the year before might have been the year before actually i think uh, it, shakes I think the it, clown specifically I think, yeah it was it was season three and we did shakes the clown with our good friend rudy real uh from lucky duck entertainment he is going to be joining us again because we are talking about the immortal classic killer clowns from outer space um I have no idea. We haven't edited it yet, but that episode's got to be almost three fucking hours long, man, because we were just taught, you know, the legacy of this film and, and just all the, the, the greatness that accompanies it um, and all of our stories of it growing up with it and and seeing it uh, on the big screen uh, at the Mahoning and stuff. And it's it's going to be a, it's going to be a banger for sure. So, again, that comes back to that l- less less ep- quality over quantity right because yes. that one's going to be really really good i'm very excited to, to share that with y'all and it was great having uh rudy in the video dungeon because just with the pandemic and everything i hadn't seen him in a, in a hot fucking minute and i'm sure you're, same yeah. for you joe yeah oh and yeah it was, it was just, great to see him and catch up yeah it was awesome it, it, it was a ton of fun there's there's a lot going on in the episode like joe said that i i we can't wait to fucking bring to you I, we were cracking each other up non-goddamn yeah. stop and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I I I I, well, I don't know what else I can really say. It was it was a ton of fucking fun to do, and it's one of I think <laughs> both of our favorite uh, movies. I think. Oh yeah, big time. That that's like top five for sure. Uh, there there is going to be a segment that is going to be trimmed down and put on Patreon. <gasps> I'm not going to spoil it yet, but uh, it it, uh, it was a time. It was a lot of time. There's some. There's a little bit of magic in there. There's some fucking balloon buffoonery. We got some good stuff in that episode. It's going to be really fun. But um, yes, and we're cooking up. We're coming. We're cooking up what's coming for May, too. And again, don't forget, um, I don't know if it's going to be next week. Definitely within next week, in the next two weeks, we're going to be releasing uh, the info on we're going to be doing our first. I mentioned at the beginning of this, but we're going to be doing our first live show at a theater. We're going to be showing two movies in 35 millimeter. And we're going to be doing live bits on on stage. So it's going to be a hell of a fucking time. We will get you the details soon. Um, cannot wait to announce it and tell you everybody who's involved and, and what we're showing and all that good stuff. So so um, we're going to try to give you as much time as we possibly can for you. If you if you're if you want to come try to make it out, um, it would be amazing. So, uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Coming. I am. uh I'm a little. I got a little mahogany, Joe. Just thinking about <laughs> oh, it. Oh, dude, honestly. I got. Yeah, I got. You I can't got the, see it below the uh, camera, but it's there. I got the cherry wood for sure. It's been there. I've been walking <laughs> around with it for the past few months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that, and uh, obviously, talks from the dark side. We already said that before, but that that's going to keep coming. Uh, we got we got to get Chris Barr back on. We got we yes. got to talk to him, and uh, we got more coming. Yeah. Oh, and just real quick, Serge said uh, to live stream something from that. We will be filming it, and everybody on Patreon will will be getting an exclusive show. They'll be able to get the show without being at the show. Yes, that like if that. Makes that. It'll be a Patreon yeah, exclusive. That will, if you that'll can't be Patreon make it. only if you can't make it. But uh, it'll be a good time because I know I mean you know some of you live on the other side of the fucking country, so it's like of course you can, you're not going to make it. So we'll, uh, or, we'll or a different country, honestly. Yeah, or that too. Yeah. So, so we'll have something special for you. We we won't forget you. Of course, we're gonna give you no. something. Um, but uh, you got anything else you want to talk about? I'm trying to think if there was anything that was on my mind that I wanted to get off. I mean, if we want to just br- real briefly before we sign off, talk about maybe some of the the Patreon content we put out in in March for for part of our St. Patty's Day extravaganza for anyone that missed it. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, head over to patreoncom slash dumpster. We got a few items up there. Uh, we did our Leprechaun, the first movie, a classic commentary yeah. track for uh, mm-hmm. five and ten. Uh, we also did that Rawhead Rex watch along. <sighs> that was so for five fun. and ten. That was so. If fun. you missed that, you missed out on a banger. But the but the replay, of course, is always on Patreon along with all the other uh, ones we've done over the last god twelve months, Joe. Yeah, but we also got some other Patreon stuff up there. Uh, some crossover stuff. We have. Uh, yes. I, I I guessed it on uh, Mr. Lobo's podcast, the Sleepless Nights podcast, and we talked about the Book of Boba Fett. That's on the Patreon. Um, Tony and I talked about uh, To Catch a Yeti, which was a lot of fun. That's on the Patreon. In memory of Meatloaf. In memory of Meatloaf, a Two B Tuesday that usually uh, Tony does for his channel uh, on his on his stuff. So he he did it in the video dungeon uh, uh, with me. So that was fun. 
Um, so there's a, there's a lot of good shit uh, over there cooking up. And uh, like Joe said earlier, we got some stuff planned for April that we're just uh, hammering out the details and, mm-hmm. you know, keep an eye on the socials. We'll have a video or, or a post of some kind that'll that'll give you a more concrete. Uh, more concrete info, I guess is what I'm trying yeah. to say. But well, we uh, definitely have a we definitely have a mailbag coming at you. I don't know if yeah. for April it might be for May, probably for April. So you'll have a mailbag. You'll definitely have a commentary track and definitely a watch along. Plus, you know, the public stuff, too. So we're going to yeah. we're going to. We're going to take care of uh, patrons first and foremost, for sure, because we want to make sure that you're getting uh, the most for your money. Yeah. And uh, the, the mailbag's junk mail uh, and, and any mini so like like that, mm-hmm. that that episode with Tony. Oh, or, that too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's for the two dollar tier. So if, if you want to just get on the two dollar, you don't want to you don't want to necessarily jump in on the, on the commentary tracks quite yet. That stuff's all available to you, along with every other, you know, behind the scene thing we post on there, whether they're just updates or, you know, behind behind the scenes pictures and, you know, all that good stuff is also oh, on there. Yeah. We did we did a, we did a, a mini sode on stream the 1981 version, not not the yeah. not the actual <laughs> West Craven version uh, last month. Yeah. And we, we have a few from last year, but uh we might have a new uh, mini soon in April, maybe in May. We, we again, we got to hammer that out, but we have we'll ideas you know. on paper. We'll let you know. But yeah, yeah, good stuff coming up. So um, I think um, I think on that note, um, uh, I think I'm looking the right way. I don't know. Well, I, w- I wasn't looking at you particularly. I was just looking around because I was I was thinking. But uh, I'm looking for <laughs> Alice. I'm looking for Mike. I'm looking for Ma, Mike, and the rest, the Brady bunch, if you will. <laughs> Here's your story. <laughs> Um, it, yeah, Ty, you're right. They were drinking a lot of Irish coffee. Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think, Sean. Was there anything else that we wanted to get out that we were talking about, and we and I was waiting to talk about for the live show? I think we. Uh, I think that's it. I mean, we were talking about some again, some stuff uh, for May, but we're not quite ready to announce that. But no, if no. we forgot, we'll uh, we'll post about it on on yeah, our socials. Yeah, you'll get that in the April uh, wrap up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, with I guess with that being said, thank you, thank you guys again for coming out and hanging out and bullshitting with us, and and uh, we hope uh, you know if there's anything we could do for these live shows that uh, that you'd like us to do more of, if there you know if you want to take questions on like Patreon, if that's something you want to do, or just take questions in general before we start, because you're always more than welcome. I mean, we encourage you to to ask us in the in the chat and stuff when you hang out, but that's something cool. And again, we're gonna have. Uh, um, polls and stuff on patreon for for movies for mini shows and things like that and um i don't know I, I i i you know again like today it just really blew me away like i sat there and it was one of those moments where you you, you realize you're a person you know what i mean <laughs> you have yeah. that existential kind of kind of thought and you're like wow I'm, I'm sitting here and here are people that are supporting what I do, what we do, you know what I mean? And in our love for, for these things, um, and these, and these movies and, uh, and, you know, special effects and all this other kind of stuff. So it's, it's, or music even. Um, and it's just, it feels really good to know that, mm. uh, that you guys, uh, uh, enjoy the content and, and like us as people and as friends and stuff. And it's been, a, it's been a absolute joy getting to know some of you guys. And, and I look forward to getting to know some of you better. And, um, and Same. get and welcome in more people into the dumpster and uh, and uh, growing the growing the family, you know. Uh, the getting dump- them in the air, air get drums, get in the eyeballs, into the mouth. Ma- oh, jeez! Oh, 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 he's got a special oh, reservation no. right in the old mouth hole there. Uh, diddler uh, took me over for a second there, Joe. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to control the diddler, man. The costume somewhere in this this door behind me. I don't know. Don't overthink it. <laughs> but. Uh, but yeah, th- you know, we love you guys and, and guys, gals, everything in between. And uh, we really appreciate all your support. Thanks for coming to hang out. Thanks for listening to the show. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks for supporting us on Patreon. Thanks for being awesome and and, and, and just being awesome to each other and creating, uh, you know, more or less a safe space for everybody to come fucking hang out and, and just be themselves and talk about movies and stuff. So uh, it's fucking rad. And uh, and yeah, so um, I guess we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see you on the first. Uh, with with that ripe review, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the month for uh for, for the wrap up for uh for April. But uh, have and, an awesome and, night. Uh, this is for Serge, not to cut you off as you're as you're closing out. Yeah, it's been a dumpster time, folks. <laughs> Hashtag dumpster. We're bringing it back, baby. Uh, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, you're right, Joe. It's been a blast, and thanks yeah, for everyone yeah. coming out. For sure. Have a, have an awesome night. Have an awesome Sunday. Uh, don't stay up too late. If y'all got work tomorrow, <laughs> get some sleep. Why don't you? But uh, yeah, we'll catch you later. And uh, we love you. We'll see you.